Hello everybody, we are still in our first chapter of biology. Today we will talk about the light reactions. And before talking about this, we will first know that a scientist, which is called a black man, carried on experiments to show the limiting factors of the photosensors. And according to his results, he concluded that there are two limiting factors for the photosensors process. The first one is the light reactions, which we'll talk on today, and the dark reactions. So those two factors limit the act of photosensors, and we will know how. So these light reactions accordingly depend on the light to take place, and the dark reactions do not require light to take place. So the first thing in the light reactions that the plant absorbs the light and this light is energy so it affects the chlorophyll As we mentioned before, that the chlorophyll is the material which absorbs the light in the plant, the chlorophyll is affected by the light energy that it absorbs. Because the chlorophyll molecules or atoms of course con contain energy levels, So assume that this is an electron, when the light energy goes into the chlorophyll atom, this electron is shifted up to a higher energy level, indicating that it gained more energy. So it's shifted up to a higher energy level, and in this case the chlorophyll is said to be excited. And when the effect of the energy is finished, the electron returns back to its normal energy level and in this case the chlorophyll is called to be stable. So after the chlorophyll absorbs the light energy, it uses the energy in two things. So we can simply draw this to make it easier, here is the chlorophyll and it uses the energy in two ways. The first thing is splitting the H2O, the water molecule. to give O2 and H2 so in this case here the hydrogen in order to not let him combine once more with the oxygen there is something called NADP and this NADP carried the hydrogen so it's called the hydrogen carrier to give NADPH2 So actually the NADPH, this compound, 
is a hydrogen carrier. This is an abbreviation for nicotinamide, adenine, dinucleotide, phosphate. Nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate. It's a long name. And this hydrogen carrier carries the hydrogen to prevent it from combining once more with the oxygen to give NADPH2 in order to be used in the dark reactions. So this was the first part of the energy that the chlorophyll has.